um, the, uh, the first half just seemed like it was a little more sluggish offensively. You were getting into a lot of ISOs and stuff, and then uh, that really seemed to pick up a bit when the second group got in there, and of course in the second half. What, you know, what did you like or not like about your first group early, and then what changed? Um, well, I don't know. We scored 35 in the first quarter. So whatever they were doing is probably okay, right? I don't know if we were guarding very well. It was, a, it was a, um, I, I thought, you know, I thought they were getting to, to some good stuff. I mean, um, there's adjustments you kind of got to make, like uh, we're trying to use some of our size advantage. You could probably tell at the basket, but they were dropping a lot of guys. I didn't think we did a great job of reading once we had two or three on us. You know, from the six, eight, ten foot range, are still kind of throwing some stuff up, right? So, um, but we, I thought we adjusted to that a little bit. We talked about it, showed some clips at halftime about you know once, you know, it's fine to go in and take it to the rim if you're getting to the rim, but if you're getting held up at ten feet, you probably and with a couple guys on you, you probably need to find the open guy. So, a little bit better, I think, in the in the in the second half. But I thought they did a good job of trying to find a little bit more. Um, areas to get to some scoring opportunities tonight. What have you seen the, the evolution of Christian Coloco since because the preseason began in game at game speed? Yeah, no, he's 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 okay out there, Doug. Right, I think again, I, not much different than what I've what I've seen and told you from the beginning. You know, he's got a he's got a pretty good IQ. Doesn't make a lot of mistakes, right? He's re he he's still learning a few things. Like like that's a tough cover. Horford's a tough cover, and so is Blake Griffin for you know for a young guy because they both are are facilitators. They're both in a lot of actions, and they both can pop and hit the three. So you got to cover. You know, I think I think Christian's probably used to migrating to the rim, right? And and he probably not many times, but a couple times he probably migrated, and Horford stayed out in the corner and you know got a, got an open corner threes, things like that. But listen, he's he was I thought really active on the glass. I don't know if he got credited for a lot of those, but he kept a lot of them alive, um, blocked a couple shots. You know, obviously made a few you know good rolls and and dump off baskets and stuff. So he's he's doing okay. Yeah, he's doing okay. Looked like he really made an effort to get the ball in Scotty's hands in the second half and kind of. His, Maybe a coincidence, but probably the best he's looked so far in the preseason. Yeah, I mean, he um, he certainly um, was aggressive. Like some of that was just him being ultra aggressive tonight, uh, Michael, and some of it was was us trying to get it to him in spots too. But um, that's we what we you know we want we want him to be aggressive. I mean, like when he comes out and he's and, and some of those aren't maybe the greatest shots, but at least he's playing with I'm going to shoot him, right? I'm going to take him like like he comes down and shakes and bakes and lets it go like he meet, like he's going to make it, right? And he did make some and and uh that to me just just looked different than it's looked. He seemed really hesitant to pull the trigger early this year, turned down a lot of stuff, didn't attack much. Um, I loved his, some of his drives. I thought he really, really went hard, attacked the rim hard. And, you know, when you're that big and strong and you can handle like that, that's hard. You, somebody's got to get in your get in your way, right? And if they do, they're going to get run over, right? And a lot of times it's hard to get beat, beat them to the spot. So you get run over and get a foul called on you. So I liked a lot of that aggressiveness for sure. It's pretty much a sort of peak OG tonight. Yeah. A little bit of everything. Yeah. Can he? Does he have to do that more often when he's out there with Pascal and Gary, or how how does how does that dynamic affect the way he plays like he did tonight without them? Well, I think that he has also worked himself into a little bit better rhythm here. I mean, obviously the opportunities for both him and Scotty changed tonight. The volume, right, with with a couple of twenty, you know, fifteen to twenty two point scores or whatever that Gary and Pascal are off the floor, and those guys I think knew they. They had to be aggressive out there, and plus we started Kem, so that was it. Was you know they were they became primary options tonight. Um, yeah, I mean he's got to find and go get the you know again he he found the ball himself a lot, and he he got himself open and he got himself in the right situations. He's got to got to continue to do that when those other guys are on the floor. Yeah. Can you describe 
describe what you feel here in the, this building tonight? I mean, uh, yeah. did you ever see and heard some noise like that for a preseason game? <laughs> it's it's always um, it's it is always something that a preseason game has that much energy in, in some of these stops we make. Um, Uh, that is a big arena. I, I like how it goes up so fast. Even the people way up high are, are right on top of the court, it feels like. And, um, yeah, I think they got a heck of an effort. I thought both teams played hard, and the crowd energized both teams, I thought. And and um, they probably got their money's worth tonight. But, yeah, it was fun. it's fun, really fun. It's really unique, man, that preseason games have that, that kind of electricity, and I'm really unique. How do you feel about uh, Delano Banton's progression as a secondary ball handler on the bench? Yeah, he's doing good. He's he's actually becoming kind of like a secondary scorer, right? He's he's getting um, and, and the, probably the best um, things that I like are he just looks way more comfortable out there, just in general. He's really doing a good job of organizing the the play calls and moving the pieces and things like that. And then he's, you know, when you when you need him kind of late in the clock, he's going to work and either getting to the rim with the right and left hand or or shooting that pull up and and um, that's good. He was aggressive tonight as well. Need him to stay that way. Uh, take take the opportunities in front of him. But he's he's had a really good preseason and uh, a good summer. Right. He really looks like a confident guy out there, so that's really important. When it comes to the team as a unit, how much or what do you feel needs to be done between today and next week, the first game of the actual season? Yeah, I mean, I think we've learned a lot here in the last 10 days or so. We've really, um, we've really, uh, uh, I don't know, practiced them hard is the right word, um, but we've really had a lot of uh, things we've gone over and over and over um, that showed up tonight, especially on the offensive end. Right, we've really worked hard at organizing that, uh, continuing to figure that out. Um, that's not an easy team to do it. Again, they do a lot of switching, a lot of pre-switching. I mean, they they confuse you pretty quick. Uh, you, you know, you you think you've moved your your chess piece, and they move it really quickly away, and you got to move yours again. And just organizing and recognizing how that's changing in a fairly quick quick decision. Um, That's that's one thing. Again, I think um, we're always going to be looking at rotation and who's who's doing what, uh, who's available. Um, that always has to get sorted out probably in the first 20 games this year. But for me, the main thing is, will we play with that much energy? I thought we tried hard to guard. I thought we made a ton of mistakes in the first half, especially de uh, defensively. But we were trying hard to do some things. We'll, we'll continue to clean some of those things up. And we got on the glass. Like, you know, when we took a shot, we were we were a defensive rebound for them was hard tonight. And that's what we want it to look like because we there's probably going to be a few available. <laughs> Cam, uh, I mean, he's been around, around the block, but uh, did you get a sense of how special it was for him to get a start in his hometown? Well, I think that it was special for him, but I also think that he's been, I uh, mentioned before the game, he's been fighting with me a little bit about minutes and um, an opportunity. Um, and again, I thought he took advantage of it. Um, almost had a, uh, like almost a, a really perfect game, right? He was really playing hard both ends, doing a lot of things. Um, you know, he had a couple couple little close ones that he could probably would like to have over again. But uh, again, I thought he was a presence, and that's what he needs to be. Like, he needs to be a hard playing, you know, he's long, he's athletic, he needs to be a hard playing presence. I got to feel him out there. And, um, but yeah, I think it was, I think it was special for him tonight to get a start in his, in his hometown. Work done in preseason to get your game to where it needs to be, or you got more to do? Uh, Say so, yeah, it was it was all right. I don't think. I don't know. Of course, I think I got more to give. It was just a little preseason, a little preseason action. I feel like we got way more to give. It's just a beginning, just a little start, trying to get things going. Has your game sort of evolved in the last month to the point where you're comfortable now, and that you're ready to start the season? No, nah, so I've been comfortable. Uh, It's just we just getting things started again. I feel like we're good. Nick gave you the ball a lot in the second half. You sort of running the point for a good chunk of that. Did that help you get into a nice rhythm and and 
maybe the best rhythm, rhythm you've had so far in these five games? Uh, I was just trying to do what I play the game the right way, do what I can on the floor, uh, just taking what was given to me. And things were just, I was just saying different things, so I was just attacking and trying to be aggressive. Some of those one-on-one -on -one moves you made, uh, you know, you won against Grant Williams, a couple others. Is that some of the stuff that you've been trying to put the time in on the gym and get in situations where you can be clean, get guys clean at the end of the clock and stuff like that? Uh, I would just say I've been working on my game to just really just try to take it to a different level, see where I can get my spots in on the floor, trying to attack different spots on the floor. Um, but I would just say yeah, those moves, I, I feel like I've been doing them. It was just me just being aggressive and taking what the defense was giving me. Do you often get this kind of atmosphere for a preseason game? Yeah, it was crazy in Edmonton. Uh, it's crazy here in Montreal. I feel like Boston is pretty good. It was a good atmosphere for the preseason so far. You seem to really relish the challenge of guarding someone like Jason Tatum. You know, what do you think of going into that, and how does that feel? You know, throughout the game. Just really, just try to stay locked in, uh, do as best as I can, and just defend it as best as possible. Um, I'm just trying to really try to make everything not so easy. Give them the hard looks, pick up full court, do those little things to just try to. Get him off his rhythms. Scotty, what's your biggest goal to achieve this season versus last season? My biggest goal to achieve? Um, I say me as a player, I really take pride in defense. So me making a defensive team, I'll say that will probably be the biggest thing for me. Uh, I really take pride on that end, trying to guard those players and try to make a stamp or our impact on the game and as best as possible. So I feel like that's the best thing that I really do. So me making one of those teams, I feel like that'll be that'll be good. Any other questions? Is it important for you that uh, people all around Canada cheering for the Raptors? Like here in Montreal, the ambience was crazy, the noise was crazy. Is it important? Mm -hmm. For you to feel that all the country is behind the Raptors? I feel like me last year, even though I didn't even really travel like that, we didn't go to these places last year, but even last year, uh, me, from me getting drafted throughout the season, throughout summer, I feel like the you can just tell all of Canada's with us. They're, they're supporting us no matter what. Uh, but us just coming to these different places just really shows that Anywhere we go, that they're going to be there for us, be ready to support us. Uh, it's been sold out gyms both times we went to Edmonton, Montreal. We went back to Toronto. It was it was amazing. It was electrifying. So you can you can you can feel the energy when you're out there. Uh, it brings us on the court to play harder. Uh, Christian, what, what did you say to the crowd before the game? Have you ever addressed the crowd? That yeah, I mean, that was my first time doing it, so I was kind of, I didn't know what to say. Uh, I just said, uh, uh, how they doing, uh, like, um, thanks for the support, and we're happy to be here, and, you know, like, we usually play in Toronto, but we we know we know they, they're part of, the, like, Canada, the supporters, so we're happy to be here, and uh, we just, we love them, and let's go Raptors. <laughs> How, how can you describe the, the ambience, uh, the noise, uh, the crowd uh, today? I mean, it was crazy. It was crazy, you know, for a preseason game. I don't think it's like that everywhere. I don't think it's like that everywhere. So how would you play those games in different cities? I think it just, you know, it just make everybody together, uh, make everybody together. And, uh, you know, the crowd was amazing. The crowd was amazing. You know, for a preseason game, you're going overtime and you're playing at home. And it's like, a, you know, crowd uh, uh, extra advantage for us. So it was, it was really nice to have them tonight. What have you learned about your game through these five preseason games? I need far less. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, I, you know, it's, I, I'm a rookie, so I'm seeing, I'm seeing getting uh, adjusted. I'm seeing getting used to play against a, you know, grown, grown, grown man. You know, playing physical again. Today was like our Hall and Blake Griffin, uh, two physical big men. So you know, I'm just I'm seeing getting adjusted. Uh, I'm seeing getting adjusted to the speed of the game, and you know, but you know, I'm gonna get used to it, and I'm gonna continue to work with my team, and you know, I got some good vets, there, and they, 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 they give me some, uh, some uh, tricks, and you know, they, they give me some good advice. So I just, I just need you to take, take them in. Are you getting comfortable?
comfortable with how your game is evolving on the court? Are you getting more comfortable as the days go on here? In, in what regard would that be? Oh uh, yeah, definitely. I'm getting more comfortable. You know, it's just a question of time. You know, I'm new. I'm new to the NBA, so I'm 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 new in the team. So I got new teammates. I gotta get used to play with them. But, but I really feel I, feel I feel more comfortable today for sure. I feel more comfortable, and you know, I just feel like with time, I'm gonna continue to get more comfortable, and you know, I'm just gonna be willing to do whatever coaches want me to do and to help the team. Christian, comment t'as vu l'accueil des partisans ce soir à Montréal, et comment tu évaluerais ton match de ce soir personnellement? Oh, l'accueil, l'accueil était vraiment incroyable. L'accueil était vraiment incroyable. Comme j'ai dit en, en anglais tout à l'heure, euh, c'est pas, c'est pas tout le temps qu'on joue ici. On joue à, à Montréal, donc c'est, c'est, c'est une bonne chose. C'est une bonne chose d'avoir ces euh, matchs de pré-saison qu'on joue euh, dans différentes villes et d'avoir aujourd'hui, je pense que c'était, c'était, c'était plein. Le stade était plein. Donc pour un match de pré-saison, c'est pas, c'est pas donné en fait. C'est pas donné d'avoir un stade plein comme ça. Et je pense que ça nous, ça nous a vraiment aidé, même à la fin du match quand on est parti à en prolongation. Donc, ouais, je pense que c'est... l'accueil était vraiment incroyable et, et ouais. <rire> et pour toi, ton, ton propre match sur le court, tu l'évaluerais comment? En 7 minutes, tu as fait un, un petit peu de tout, très bien. Ah ouais, je pense que j'ai joué un, un, un bon match, euh, mais je pense que je dois, je dois apprendre mes erreurs. J'ai, j'ai, j'ai uh, far out, j'ai far out, donc je pense que ouais, je, dois, je dois travailler euh, comment euh, ne, pas, ne pas faire de faute et, et je continue de suivre ce que mes coachs me disent, mes coéquipiers, parce qu'on a beaucoup de, on a de bons vétérans et chaque fois ils me donnent des conseils, donc je dois juste continuer de, de suivre le conseil, je pense que je vais m'améliorer. Question, tu as connu la Summer League, ensuite les runs de Rico, l'après-saison. Est-ce que tu as senti que ce match, c'était encore un niveau d'intensité au-dessus on avait l'impression que c'était pas vraiment de la pré-saison ce soir. Est-ce que tu as senti que c'était un avant-goût de la saison régulière qui arrive Oh oui, ça, 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 ça c'est sûr, ça c'est sûr. Comme tu as dit, Summer League, uh, après Rico Hines, Runs, le niveau continue, continue de, de monter. Et là, c'était pré-saison, la pré-saison, c'est notre dernier match de pré-saison. Et bon, et les, les, tous les joueurs, ils veulent être en bonne, bonne forme pour le, le but de la saison qui commence la saison prochaine. La semaine prochaine, donc, ils, ils donnaient tout, et ils, veulent, ils doivent travailler sur le, sur le cardio et tout. Donc je pense que ouais, c'était un peu, je pense que ça avait l'air d'être un, un match de, de saison régulière, ça c'est sûr senti quelque chose avec les Celtics parce qu'ils ont laissé leur 5 de départ par exemple en quatrième quart temps est-ce que tu sens qu'il y a comme une rivalité ou quelque chose ils voulaient pas laisser passer ce match alors que c'est la pré-saison oh, je sais pas si c'est une rivalité mais je pense juste que c'est ils, ils essayent de faire jouer de, de, de plus de plus le, 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 le starting five parce qu'il veut être prêt pour le début de saison il veut travailler sur le nombre de minutes qu'ils vont jouer parce que pendant la saison ils jouent peut-être plus de 35 minutes par match donc je pense qu'il veut juste être, voir à quel niveau ils sont physiquement et je sais, peut-être, peut-être c'est une rivalité mais je sais pas je viens de d'arriver donc je sais pas encore